What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video. Man, look, I am just getting up, just meditated, and I am ready for the day, guys. I'm still a little sleepy. Currently, it is 2.50, almost 3 p.m., y'all. I went to bed around 6, 6 in the morning, 6 a.m. or 6.30 in the morning. So, guys, I am getting a start. I just woke up maybe around like 2 o'clock. I meditated, and now I am here about to shoot this video for y'all, man. A lot of you guys requested that I do this video, all right? It's called We Address All the Rumors on Dub Family's channel, all right? You guys wanted me to react to the part where Clarence is talking about the Birkin bag, okay? So we're going to go ahead and address this situation. Without further ado, if you have not already, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit-ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell I ain't your mom, tell ain't Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video. Let's get it, y'all. <laughs> None of you bitches, none of you bitches can touch a Birkin. Birkin. And then if you get that, what are you right. have? Did you, why are you so upset though, bro? Why are you so upset? I get that you hold me, but golly, okay, this is not even your situation. What are you having, a, you having an opinion for? Like I swear. That's what I said though. Honestly, I said the same thing. I said, why do you have an opinion on what another man is purchasing for his girl? Why do you have an opinion on it? I mean, I know everybody has an opinion, but if you can't, if you yourself can't afford to buy a Birkin bag, why are you judging the next man for trying to do something nice for his girl? I never understood that, y'all. When this situation came up, it was so many people talking shit about Clarence and, oh, he did this, he bought a fake Birkin bag, or, oh, he bought this Birkin bag with Queen's money, and all this extra shit. Clarence is now in a stage in his life where he's making his own bread, okay? Of course, Queen had a lot to do with him clouding up, okay? They kind of clouded up together. Of course, Queen was clouded up already, okay? Together, they clouded up even more. And now Clarence is doing well for himself. So for you to say that he took Queen's money to buy her a Birkin bag, that doesn't make any sense to me. Of course, anything is possible, all right? But Clarence does have a stream of income now. He probably has several streams of income, okay? Not just YouTube. And YouTube is a lucrative form of income, guys. I don't know if y'all just think that YouTubers are not getting paid a lot. Clarence gets paid a pretty penny. He's got the Royal Family Channel. He's got his Clarence NYC TV channel. He's got his Clarence NYC Reacts channel. Okay, regardless of what has happened with Clarence in the past or what I have said about Clarence, he has his own money now, y'all. He does. Okay, and once again, maybe he did use Queen's money, but I just don't see it. I just don't see it, all right? And I feel like the people who should have something to say about that move that he made should be people who can actually afford a Birkin. That's just what I'm saying. I swear to God, bro. bro. I swear to God, bro. Yeah. 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 I wish I could have logged into your fucking I'm coming. I'm mad as hell. Listen, all you had to do, just one of them, just one of them, just one of them holes, and just read on the ass in the comments. But that's the thing, though. Why waste your energy on people who are just probably upset with the way that their lives are going? Why even waste your energy or your time on those people, man? Just let them be. Let them expend that negative energy. Don't expend that negative energy back. That's going to come back in your life in some shape or form, okay? And people love when you respond back and you get pissed off or whatever the case may be. That creates more trolls because you're keeping that negative energy rolling, okay? You're in reaction to what people are saying and doing. But you just don't give those people, you don't give those haters, you don't give those trolls, you don't give those negative people, those negative comments, you don't give them any type of power. That's just how I feel. And I don't feel like Clarence really even gives a damn, all right? Cause I wouldn't. All the bitches gonna follow suit. Yo, bitch, I bought a bird. What are you <laughs> like? And they was saying, he where's the car? Where, bitch, this is a Birkin. Yeah, bitch, you in a Honda? I your button iPhone. Don't talk in your that's shit. Light. That's light to us. That's yeah. the thing. That's what these. And why are you speaking on a gift that a man is giving a woman, regardless of what his bank account looks like? Who cares what he buys his woman? 
he wanted to buy his woman a Birkin. So that's what he did. And there's so many different levels of how much a Birkin can cost. There's different levels of Birkins. All right. You can get a 20 K Birkin. They got Birkins for over a hundred K. Okay. So who knows which Birkin it was, how much it was. I don't know, but who cares? Okay. Who cares what this man wants to give his woman? That shit blew my mind when people were talking about this Birkin bag, y'all. It really blew my mind. So I'm glad that they're actually clearing up the situation right here. Like I said, anything is possible. Maybe he did run off a Queen's credit card and buy a Birkin. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But I just think that it's a far-fetched idea because Clarence NYC has made a name for himself now, okay? Whether it came from Queen, whether Queen was the reason, that's neither here nor there anymore. He has his own bread, okay? So with that being said, I'm pretty sure he took his own bread and made something happen for his girlfriend. Okay? I'm just saying. That, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Bro, that's one thing. Niggas was saying that, bro, and I thought, bro, even a car would be cheaper. I'm saying. <laughs> like, a car would be like, cheaper. Nigga, you put 10. It depends on what car you're talking about. Okay? Nah, I put 10 down. Nigga, you put 10 down. You, you walk car. out with a mother. They thinking these you niggas. Out. I bro, you walk out. Nigga. Down, you're over the age of Leasing a car would have been cheaper, okay? But buying a car outright depends on what car you're talking about. Might have been cheaper, maybe not. Fuck that big Ferrari. 10K. So you're saying, like, I don't even want a Birkin no more because anybody gets a Birkin. Not anybody gets a Birkin. No, they don't. Yeah, people were tripping in the comments, y'all. People were tripping talking about anybody can get a Birkin. Birkins are supposed to be exclusive. But do you have a Birkin? Do you personally have a Birkin? <clears throat> That's what I want to know. Okay? Because if you have a Birkin, okay, you have every right to speak. But if you don't have a Birkin, then what are you speaking on the next nigga buying, him, uh, buying his girl a Birkin? That makes absolutely no sense, y'all. A nigga really wrote me today on my comments and said, this nigga's tricking y'all like he's rich. His brother bought all of that shit. That's, <laughs> that's, that's wow. Like, that's the thing. You my sh that's the thing. Haters will always find something negative to say, bro. It makes them feel better about their own situation. And you just have to let them have it. You have to let them have it. There's always going to be a, oh, he got this because of this nigga. Okay? You're always going to have a person out there that says that the only reason why you got this amount of success is because of this. Or this girl, because it is. So whatever the case may be, man, you just got to let that roll off your shoulders, man. You can't let that affect you, okay? Because obviously, they feel some type of way about your success or about your girl or about whatever it is. Your body, okay? They feel some type of way. They feel threatened, all right? But really what they should do is channel that energy into something positive like getting your ass in the gym. Like getting you some success. Like shooting you some videos, Okay? But instead, that's what they do. But that comes with the territory, you know. Um, this nigga DDG, I don't know what he's eating, what he's snacking on, but he is going ham right now, okay? He's making me hungry. I think that's just, like, their way of, like, they can't say They can't much. say nothing. So it's like, fuck it, let's just niggas throw that really, out there. But the thing is, you now, mean? bro, niggas really can't say shit to me, bro. And I swear to God, bro. This nigga DDG is so full of himself. Anyway, guys. I love y'all so much. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about Clarence and the Birkin bag, okay? And also let me know how you guys feel about people being put on, okay? Can you put somebody on? I believe, yes, there is a such thing as putting somebody on, but it's up to that person to stay on. That's just how I feel, man. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. Make sure you also like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a ho. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out.